Hi, this is Stephanie, and I'm going to be showing you how to access and use your new unit plan template for Sarah High School. Firstly, you want to make sure that you are uh, logged into your Google account using your Sarah email address. Uh, if you go to Google, then you'll see that up here is an icon that says Google Apps, or it doesn't say Google Apps, but once you scroll over it, it does. It's basically this set of uh, dark gray squares. So we're going to click on that to access our drive. Click on Drive, and that brings you to your drive. Uh, depending on how your drive is set up, you may see different um, files here that you've added to your drive in the past. Um, if we go to the far left, we'll see that there are three, um, I guess, buttons of importance to us. My drive, shared with me, and recent. All three of these can be used to access the new unit template or unit plan template that has been sent to you. Um, the first time you access it, you'll get an email. You can just directly click on the link, or you can go to Shared With Me, and you'll see it here. Um, I have uh, recently accessed mine, so I can actually go to Recent as well. Um, if you're really struggling to find it, you can always search um, in your drive to find the um, unit plans if you need to. So um, I'm going to go back now to, so I'm in the recent. Um, the generic name for the unit plan template is subject unit plans semester pound sign and then 2017 to 2018. So I'm going to click on that. And we'll see that the template is already um, ready for me. We've got a couple things here that are different, but it's mostly the same as the old unit plan template. Um, we'll see here that the instructional unit, essential question, instructor, course, period, and date, that is all the same. We also have our lesson number here, our date, that's the same as well. Something that's different is that we've actually separated the state standards or content standards with the Common Core standards. Learning targets, sequence, extending the lesson, and reflection are all the same, but we've also added a column here for links and resources. The idea is that we really should have these unit plans open when um, we're in the middle of a lesson. It helps to guide our instruction and to make sure that we are implementing all the great ideas that we've thought of. This specific column is really useful if you've got, say, a website or a video that you plan on showing in class. If you have the link there and ready to go, all you have to do is click on it if the unit plan um, is already open. So um, the first thing we want to do is change our file name. So I'm going to make this for biology, and let's just say that this is semester two. Okay. Um, you definitely want to change the file name for the different courses that you teach. Um, this will also help your um, department chair who will have access to this Google Doc um, uh, be able, they'll be able to distinguish what files we're looking at. So you'll notice that this is a little bit like an Excel spreadsheet. Um, in fact, this is a Google Sheet, that's what they call it. Um, and um, a lot of the things that you can do on Excel you can also do here. Um, one of the great things I have found about this is that this one document will cover all of my unit plans for the entire semester. So if we go down to um, these different tabs here, we actually have included um, as well, we included eight units. I'm thinking you probably won't need more, but we've included um, all the units that will be in the semester already in this document. That way you don't actually have to send, you know, four or five, six different files to your department chair. It's all kind of streamlined in this one file. Okay, so let's start off. Uh, I'm going to do a couple examples here just maybe to answer some questions and to show you um, how to troubleshoot. Let's pretend that this um, unit is going to be for cell division. Okay, so I'm just going to insert cell division. Um, my essential question I'm going to gather from my old um, unit plan. So let's go to that file. Here you can see my old unit plan. This is what they look like. Um, I like my essential question here, so I'm going to use it again. I'm just going to copy and paste it. Okay, good. Um, instructor Nguyen 
course biology, you don't know what periods and dates I can come back to um, once I you know, actually start and finish. Okay, so the first lesson, um, the date, what we can do for the date actually is we've created a formula in this cell already in this box so that you just have to double click it and you can go to um, whichever date, let's say that, well I said semester two, so let's say that this starts January 15th. Okay, there we go. Um, then from there you should be able to insert the dates. Um, you can also manually insert them. You don't have to use that formula if by accident you delete the formula that allows you to just double click. Um, either way, you know, just as long as you're putting the date, that's fine. We've got a place for state standards and common core standards. All right, so let's go back to my um, old unit plan. And what I've got here is some um, old standards, uh, or some, sorry, some common core standards and some NGSS or next generation science standards. Right now they're all together. So what I want to do is I'm going to um, copy my common core standards and I'm going to paste them in here. Okay, there we go. Okay, well you'll notice from the get-go that there is a problem here. This has, um, the cell kind of extends all the way into sequence, and then if I start writing something in the learning targets, we'll see that, that the rest of it kind of disappears. So what I can do is if I click on the cell, we can go to the top up here, and there is this thing called text wrapping. If you click on text wrapping, what that will do is actually um, kind of extend the length of um, the cell to include everything. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to put in some of the NGSS standards and I'm going to paste that. Same problem. Okay, so I'm going to, um, oh no, nope, it's actually already text wrapped, but I do see that where I had three different lines here, SEPs, CCCs, and DOKs, now they're kind of all in one line. And I don't like that because it's kind of hard to distinguish between them. So what I'm going to do is if I double click on this, um, I can actually push on Control and Enter, and that will fix the spacing. If you actually, if you don't click on Enter. So if I try to go back here and I tried, if I just pushed enter, you'll see that it actually just goes to the next cell. So you do have to push control and enter. Okay, cool. Um, from there, um, we can see, all right, just if you'd like to make sure that the formatting is um, consistent, we can go here and we can change the alignment of the cell or, or the data in the cell. And I'm going to go back to uh, my old unit plan and copy the first set of learning targets. And I'm going to paste them. Okay, so again I see a problem and that is that the um, the lines kind of just all mesh together so I'm going to go here and I'm going to push control. Oh, too far. There we go. Okay, great. Next, my sequence. Okay, oops, that's not it. This is it. I'm going to copy and paste my sequence from the old unit plan and let's see what happens when I just click paste. Okay, okay. Um, all of a sudden my data is in different cells and this is again problematic. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to double click on the cell first and then paste. Okay, you'll notice again everything is on the same line, so I'm going to go to where I need to make a new line, push control, enter, control, enter, control, enter, and there we go. Oh, it looks like I don't have text wrapping, so I'm going to wrap that text, and there we go. Excellent. Uh, extending the lesson, let's put that. I had an ed puzzle for mitosis, that was their homework. So I can just copy and paste. Looks like that one might be a simple one. Actually, no, it isn't. Look at that. Let's fix that alignment. And finally, reflections and comments. So I had some um, reflections. And take a look. Um, back when I was reflecting on this lesson, I decided to add a link. So actually, I'm going to do 
this. I'm going to copy that link in there. And like I said, this is really helpful because what it will do is it will um, be easily accessible for me when I'm actually going through this lesson. All right, so what I've shown you is how to text wrap, how to insert multiple lines into a single cell, um, and how to fix the dates. Um, if you have any other questions, please let me know. Um, once you get a, a, a good grasp on um, Google Sheets, um, it's actually quite easy to just switch from the old template to the new template. Um, and one of the best parts about this is that if you do in fact need to add a row, say that I'm absent what I had for lesson two, um, which I have nothing right now, but say I was absent and I need to actually push that back, what I can do is click on the row and paste one above, and that way I can adjust um, my unit plans accordingly so that in the past we had to kind of switch all the dates and stuff like that. Now what you can do is insert or delete rows um, in case there is an adjustment in the timeline of your unit. All right, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to come to my classroom, um, email me, text me, whatever you need. I'm here to help. Thanks.